Hi folks and welcome back. As you can see I've finished the roof on the house and extended the chimney up a little bit just to make it look nice. I think overall it looks pretty good. And over here I've filled in the uh, quarry that we had here, put some grass over it to make it look nice. Um, over here I'm making some more clay vessels because as you can see we've got food about to come in. Well actually some of it is ready to be harvested. And so as soon as I harvest, I want to be able to stick it in pots so it'll last. Um, just to sh demonstrate to you, we'll get back to this in later, but if you look at my levels, you'll see that I'm already, under agriculture, I'm already up to adept. I'm already like a third of the way through that. And adept is the second level. And yet I haven't yet harvested anything out of this garden. And that's because even when we're uh, picking crops off of wild plants that we find in the wild, that still counts towards our agricultural experience. So if you're running around and you've got plenty of food and you don't need any more seeds, you might want to just pluck, you know, harvest any wild crops you come across anyway just to get your agricultural skill up. Now what that agricultural skill does for you among other things, is it uh, increases your chances of getting more seeds when you harvest a plant. So here we've got uh, a bunch of these mazes come in, and back when I was a novice, I would only get uh, one seed per plant harvested. Let's see how we do now. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, we harvested five plants. How many seeds do we get? Oh, we only got five seeds. So one other time that I did this in a test run, I got seven, but no such luck this time. But we'll eventually see the extra seeds when we harvest some of these other crops. Okay. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Have to wait for that to finish up there. Okay, the next thing we want to do is... Got our flux rocks here. Now to turn that line, these limestone rocks into flux, what we could do is use our little grinder here, the quern. Why is it still there? Did I put the entire thing there? Oh. Oh, I put the entire stack there, that's why. Okay. And you see it grinds up and gives us Two flux per stone. Now, I have 11 more here. I'd have to put them in quern and hit this 11 more times. But they're just for flux, there is a faster way. And this is a carryover from old Minecraft. Is if you put it in your crafting grid with a hammer, then you can just do it all at once. It does take some, uh, some wear on, make some wear on your hammer. But So now we have a bunch of flux. Great. Oh, I still need... Hmm. So what I would like to do is uh, take our, this here is our stone anvil. I'd like to actually put it inside since I'm planning on doing all this stuff in there. But I'm pretty sure it's still true that when you whack away at this with a pickaxe, you just get, yeah, cobble, you just get stone. Rock, that's right, that's called rock at that stage. But no fear, I have one more raw andesite here that I can use. So we'll create a fresh stone anvil in the house. Okay, use the hammer to turn it into an anvil. And our flux goes into this slot here. Okay, last thing we need are a bunch of copper ingots. And I'm going to need the fire starter as well. And some charcoal. Okay, charcoal, fire starter to get it going. And let's put a couple of ingots in there to start them warming up. So we can't use the forge to smelt the copper, but once we have them as ingots, we can use them to heat them up to the point where they can be uh, forged or, yeah, well, 
forged on the anvil. Smithed, I guess. That's the word I want. Smithed on the anvil. This should be just about ready here, isn't it? Just about done. I don't think I have any... Oh, there it is. It's done. Great. Because I want to take that corn I just harvested and get it stored away. Uh, let's grab this guy here. Whoops. Don't want to put the seeds in there. Just this. Now, really, it's the grain that lasts the longest. So I really do want to actually grind the corn up in the grain uh, before storing it for a long time. But right now, I want to get on with the smithing, so I'll do that later. Okay, these guys are warming up. Let's get two more in there. Get them started. And you'll notice I have some empty ingot molds in here just in case I get distracted and leave the ingots in there too long so they melt. I think we have enough time. Let's come out here and what else? Those tomatoes aren't ready. I can never tell <laughs> with this stuff, the, the beets, whether they're ready. Uh, not sure about the squash here, but this is either, what is this, onion or garlic? Onion, this onion is ready, so. Oh, only got one seed for the onion, too. Alas. Okay, let's just make sure we haven't melted this guy away. Yeah, not yet. And can weld, can weld. Eventually we'll get a warning when it's about to melt. Danger, there we go. Okay, that's just to give me the most time before it cools off too much. Okay, so welding, there used to be a button in here to weld, but now what you do is you take a hammer, I have a second hammer here, in your hand and you shift, right click. That gives you a double ingot. Let's just make sure everything's going according to plan here. Okay. Yeah, so I have here now a copper double ingot. And that's what we need. We need seven of those to make a uh, uh, to make a copper anvil. I obviously don't have enough, but I'll, already, I'll take care of that later. Okay. Um, since I have all these pots now... 560, 220s will give me six more. Oh, these guys are ready. All right, uh, one there, one there. Hang on, shift click. And how do you... If I had an empty hand, I could just grab it from outside, but I don't have any empty hands on me right now. Okay, do that. Add some more coal. Let's get rid of this guy. He's just in the way right now. And the seeds. I have a seed. Uh, yeah, here. I have a seed chest. Well, I, actually, this is my gar <laughs> this is my garden shed. I should actually. I'll do that later. I'll put a sign on it, calling it the garden shed. Uh, they're just warming up. Is there anything else out here we can harvest right now? Uh, none of that's ready. Or are these potatoes or are they peppers? They're peppers, so they're not ready. And like I say, that squash might be ready. I think this one might actually be ready. And I think that's ready, but I'll wait until I've got more time to actually try those out. Yeah, okay, so the next thing I want to do is get some more uh, copper going. We're going to need some more copper ingots. So I've got one, two doubles. Four ingots here will give me two more doubles. I'll give me a total of five. Well, let's do 60 by 60. Well, that's uh well done twenty I need eighty more. Math is hard. Let's go shopping. Okay, well there's fifteen. If I draw that 
drop two of those. Brings me up to 60, and that's 80. Okay, good. Not there yet. So that, that, and that should do us. Can weld. Let's get them up there. Yeah, this is always the big race when you're smithing stuff is to get it and get it smithed. You'll see it, you know, before it cools off. You'll see it's much more of an issue when we have to actually follow a specific set of uh, operations to smith it. Right here, we're just whacking them together, so that's pretty easy. Okay, let's get these guys done. And now to smelt these guys here, I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. I'm going to need the fire starter. And I'm going to need some wood. All right. Oh, I guess I should really make some more ingot molds too while I'm at it. All right, all right, all right. I'll do that too. You can never have too many ingot molds because they do break, right? Okay. Ooh, I'm running out of clay. I'm going to have to get more clay soon. Ah, ruined it. Yeah, bring these guys out. Double check. Faint red. They're not there yet. Run around like a chicken with my head cut off. All right. Put three of these in here. Come on. Light. Light for me. There we go. All right. Let's see where we're at here. Can work. Oh, we're back in time. That's good. Get this out of the way. Put him back in here. Can weld. Oh, I forgot to put this one in. Oh, oh, it'll work still. I'll just have some left over. I forgot to put these 16 native copper in, so... I'm only going to get half of the uh, ingots I wanted, but I'll still be enough to finish the anvil. So, okay. Whoops! I need the hammer in my hand and shift cl right click. There's another one done. I really should put the ingots in before I go off to do that, so they get started heating up. All right. What else can we go? I can turn my lights back on. Really need to find some pumpkins because uh, jack o' lanterns still work in TNG and they're a permanent light source. They don't go out all the time. So sooner or later, I hope to find myself some pumpkins. Okay, well, I don't think I have anything else to do while those heat up. Let's see what else we got around here. Oh, I could take you up on the roof just for quicks quicksies. This is the only, this, this, I, I deliberately let you look at the house from that side because it blocks the view of this but this is my little I don't know Bimini roof or something and and this right as if on cue the rain starts but it's to keep the rain from falling down into the house but it just floats there I wish I could have you know some little poles in old TFC they had the sticks um, like you could uh, the individual um, wooden planks you could stick as uprights and so I could have used those but alas those don't exist in the in TNG talking about um, these things here these planks or lumbers they're called now yeah, yeah. see we stay dry
Oh yeah, you can see my tree for my tree farm over there it hasn't really progressed yet. I know sometimes trees can interfere with each other. You know, if they if one grows up and then it blocks the sun for the other one or, or something like that, but we'll see. Let's see we'll see how it works out. Well, we're up to can weld. Let's get a bit more in there. Let's get into orange territory at least. That should be good enough. I think I can do this fast enough now. Boom, boom. Onto the hammer and shift quick. Yes, indeed. So that's five of the seven that we need. And so I'm going to have to wait until the uh, pit kiln finishes up so that I have more some more copper and gets to work with. And there's... Well, since we have the time, let's try and see whether this is harvestable. Okay, I have multiple squash, so let's start with that. Nope, it wasn't ready yet. <laughs> okay. Well, I still got two more. There's no point in, in me planting a squash back again now. Although there is, there is probably, it's probably worthwhile to do the onions because they grow fast enough. Oh, I should not waste coal here. That's not ready yet. Yeah, I should do the onion. Put the onion back in. What else do I have here? Maize and squash. Oh, and yeah, tomatoes. All those take too long. So... Um, I'm still not sure how uh, the nutrients in the ground work in TNG. Um, so I'm going to avoid planting the same crop in the same location for now. Until I know how that works. I bet you this guy is ready, but uh, I dare not. I dare not. Okay. Okay, so i got to wait for this pit kiln to finish up, so I'll bring you back in when I'm done. Bye for now. Okay, so it's still raining. Pit kiln just went out. It wasn't that much longer, but you wouldn't have wanted to wait for it. So let's grab what's in there. Whoopsie, there we go. And uh, where's the guy? There's the guy. Oh, did that apple? That, oh, I should have eaten that tomato before it went bad. Oh, well. Not enough time. Got too many things on my plate. Oops. Let me do that. And then a couple more. Oh, this guy wasn't finished. Oh yeah, of course. I <laughs> closed up the UI. Um, let's put this guy on the floor. Put this other one on the floor. Got to free up some room here. Okay, there we go. Now let's do a couple things here first. Let's get rid of that hoe. Get rid of this copper that I forgot to use. Toss the dirt from some uh, civil engineering I was doing while I was waiting for the pit kiln to finish up. Uh, this is now another empty vessel, so let's put him down there. Oh, I need to eat and drink. All right, drink. Eating is an urgent, but I might as well do it before the lemons also expire. All right, let's see if these have cooled down enough to turn into... Yep, they're solid now. 
Oh, that's the one that isn't full yet. Okay. Ninety-two? Forty-eight? I don't understand how I ended up with two of those, but... It's fine. Now, come over here. Put two of these in here. Grab our hammer and shift. And take two more. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. Yeah, you notice that? That if you can catch them soon enough, um, after pouring them out, then, yeah, now these ones are already too cool. But if you can catch them soon enough, oh no, this one can still just barely in weld uh, level, but it, no, now, it's, now you can see it's dropped down. Then you can... Uh, weld them as soon as you get them out as soon as you pour them out but normally if you try and time that i mean you can you can do that as a, as i guess a meta game or something like that but the dance required because to to pour them out and get them in the molds and then get the molds to cool off because they're all cooling off at the same time right oh that's another difference in the old T tfc the uh uh, molten metal that was in the the clay vessel. Oh, these things over here. It was in the clay vessel. That cooled off much more slowly than uh, molten metal on an ingot mold in your inventory or or an, as ingot form. So what you used to be able to do, which you could pour out a couple of ingots and let them cool a bit in your inventory, then pour out a couple more, and so you could stage them that way. But that doesn't work anymore. Now it all cools down at the same time. So just get the ingots out as quickly as you can before it solidifies in the vessel. Um, all right, I guess the next thing to do is make our copper anvil. Oh, that's right. I moved it. In, I moved the uh, crafting table inside. Okay. Ta-da! We have a copper anvil. Another difference, <laughs> in old TFC, you couldn't move around while carrying an anvil. If you had an anvil in your inventory, you were stuck in place. And so you had to, like, move it, and then you had to lay it down somewhere, move, pick it up if you wanted to get it somewhere. And, and that was just a pain. So, I mean, I can understand, like, anvils are supposed to be heavy, so you shouldn't be able to just run around with them. But it's a bit of a bit of an annoyance. Okay. Hopefully we will never need this stone anvil ever again. Uh, you might wonder why, since we have to hold the hammer in our hand, why we also need one inside the UI. So it used to be that inside the UI there was a little button up here if you wanted to weld things together. Uh, you don't just weld ingots to make double ingots, but you'll also like weld um, metal plates. We can make metal plates and you'll w weld those to them make double plates and things like that. Um, so there just used to be a button for that. What the TNG developers are doing is they want as much as possible for uh, the actions to take place in the world, not inside a GUI. Um, so they were able to do that with the ingots, uh, with, the, with the welding at any rate, but for all for the other options here you like have all these different types of hitting and there's no really no way to specify that from outside the GUI so these are still these functions are still in the GUI and for that you need a hammer in here so you really end up needing two hammers which is a bit of an annoyance but uh, what can you do okay um that is an entire ingot good let's get it in there we've got one more thing to show off we've got our We've got our new uh, our new anvil, so of course we need to try it out. Take it for a spin, as it were. The other thing I should do is combine these two guys. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's a good idea actually. Combine these two. Somehow I screwed up and got two separate ones. And we'll put this guy out here. As a reminder, that that's something we can fire next time. My 
cat just attacked me because I moved, I deigned to move my mouse pad. I think it's taking the word mouse a bit too literally. Okay. Uh, no, I need to toss the rotten tomato. Here. When did these go? Zero days. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what's the time on them? Okay, so they say at 9.22 on October 3rd. Now, that's a little bit misleading. Or maybe not. Okay, I'm confused now. Well, maybe that's another change. Uh, it used to be, this in, in earlier versions of TNG, there was, for some reason, the dates were like twice as far in the future as when it actually decayed. I never really understood that. So maybe that was just a bug that they fixed. But okay, so by 9.22 on the 3rd. So we've got the rest of today and the wee hours of tomorrow morning before these go bad on us. So something to keep in mind. Red, bright red. Can work. I guess I should explain that as well. So you saw it says can weld. Obviously I'm using weld them together. You have to get it up to, to uh, can work if you want to be able to just smith it into a tool or a weapon or armor or whatever okay so this guy is plenty and what do we need we should make ourselves a hammer so now this is how you do smithing in here you put the ingot in you find the plan for what you want we want a copper hammerhead that one's simple it tells us we have to the last operation is a punch this thing here in the and shrink is not the last so we have to do shrink before the punch Okay, and what we have to try and end up with is this green one directly under the red one here. So you'll see. So I'm just going to try a couple of shrinks to see how far. The green buttons move it right. Uh, and the red buttons move it left. Uh, is this close enough? Nope, I missed. Shrink. Oh, yeah, I have to go heat it up again. Okay, well, these two guys should be molten, right? Yeah, okay, let's do them then. And this guy should be... There, we have a full one there now, and just this partial one here. Stick the partial, whoops. Stick the partial over here for now. Remember it the next time we're making some of these things up. Set to can well. Let's get them into orange so I have more time to mess around. And I don't recall now. One thing to remember is we're picking up from where we left off on this ingot. It doesn't, the green bar isn't all the way back here. It's where we left it. If we were to melt it and reform it as an ingot, then it would all be reset. So, and I've almost, I'm almost done with this hammer. It's almost all used up. Okay, so we want to, let's do just a distance. Okay, I think now. Ah, he's done again. Let's try this guy. Let's get a fresh start here. Whoops, should be there. And we want to make a hammerhead. Okay, so let's try instead of starting with the shrink, let's do an. Oh, there's no hammer. Oh, we used up the hammer. Okay, let's do an upset to bring it that far, and then shrink. There, we finally got it. Um, so the recipe that's up here, um, for a copper hammerhead, it will be the same for the rest of this game. I don't know whether it's the same between games or whether it gets randomized. Um, and I don't recall, see, I have a bad memory, so I can't do anything based on memory. And, but I don't recall whether 
I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a different recipe for different metals. So when we go to do bronze, it'll probably be, a, I think it's a different recipe then. But anyway, so that is how we do the smithing. And we built ourselves an anvil. And that's going to have to be it because I'm pretty sure we're over time as it is. And I'm going to have to edit like a son of a gun to try and get this all to fit in. But I hope you enjoyed that. Um, next episode, we'll probably look at the gardening again. Because uh, certainly some stuff will have come in since uh, since this episode. And, 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 um, see what I mean about forgetting. Oh, and we'll uh, step up to... Uh, bronze because we have the stuff that we need for it right yes we found cassiterite now even if we hadn't found the cassiterite there's other types of bronze you can make they're, they're not as good this is the best one the one that you make standard bronze you make with cassiterite but we could have also made bismuth bronze which needs bismuth and tin uh can't remember what the ore of tin is called at the moment but anyway so I, uh, I will see you back, hopefully, on the next episode, and we will continue to climb the tech ladder. Bye for now.